Hello, welcome to Paleo Greenbird. This is Greenbird, and today's video is going to be another one on flint napping. I'm not going to do any napping, but we're going to talk a little bit about hinges and steps, which all of us get. Um, you know, as you get more experienced, you tend to get less of them, but I'm still at the point in my experience level where I, I do get them frequently, so uh, I figured I'd share a little bit about it. At first, when I first learned about them, I didn't really know the difference or really what they were. Um, I'm one of those people where I do a ton of research before I even try to do something. I, whether that's good or bad, you know, or indifferent, who knows. But so I learned a lot about these things. I remember asking in forums, and people talk, "Oh, well, you're, this is why you're getting a hinge, and this is why you're getting a step." And I, when I looked them up, it just sort of crossed my wires because it seemed like you know they, they were all the same thing. And some of that is because uh, people tend to use the terms interchangeably. You know, what, whether they prefer to say step or prefer to say hinge. Uh, but there is a difference between a step fracture and a hinge, and that's why I wanted to talk about that today. But if you experience that in the forum, sometimes you know folks will call everything a hinge or they'll call everything a step, and it doesn't really matter because they're essentially they are the same thing. They're all early terminations. The difference is just how you got that early termination. Um, so one of the ways you can sort of tell by the way they look is a step fracture will actually have a step-like appearance. And that's because of the way the, ter the um, flake terminated short. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But that's, see if I can get that in the camera for you. That's what a step fracture looks like. You can kind of see it terminated short, went a little further, terminated short again, went a little further. Sometimes these um, step fracture flakes will actually stick to your rock and you have to pick them off with your finger. Um, that can, that's typically a good indication that that it's a step fracture and that's also because of the way it terminated and we'll talk about that in just a second a hinge on the other on the other hand see if I can find one uh, well I guess the best example I have is on this this little blade here you can see that hinge still a short termination right but there's no none of those little steps it just looks like someone t took a big chunk out of it and that's that's due to the way it was it, the flake terminated, in, short and incorrectly. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, okay, so let's get to it. Let's talk about why why they look the way they look. So, in a hinge, we'll talk about hinge first. Hinges are typically uh, created by putting too much pressure uh, on the support on either side of the piece that you're working. Sort of like when you're leg napping, you know, and you you put you press down too hard on the stone against your leg. You know, that when people say support, that's not the support really that they're talking about or that you need. The support is really at the back of your hand. So if this is the spall you're working, and I'm a righty and this is lefty for me, but the support you want is against your hand, not the support that's wrenching down on it. You know, I mean, you want to you support it a little bit. You don't want it to get in shock and stuff like that. But the support is the pressure the, against the back of your hand. So anyway, typically that's, that's what will create a, um, a hinge is there's too much pressure and support on the stone and it just prevents the flake from traveling you know because that's uh, you want to put your support on there and a little bit of pressure just to guide the flake so it doesn't pop off too soon but if you put too much on there you know it's just like when you have to narrow the tip of an arrow to keep the point from sliding down you're supporting it that's exactly what you're doing uh, if you put too much pressure on there so then a step fracture a little bit different and I apologize my heater just kicked on so hopefully it doesn't affect the sound in the video. Um, a step fracture, on the other hand, is caused by not enough momentum or force to push the flake off. Typically, it's either maybe you had your platform way too low, or maybe you used the wrong size billet, you used too light of a billet, or you didn't strike the platform exactly where you wanted to strike it, so the force didn't generate enough momentum to pull that flake off and that's what gives it that step type look is because it, it instead of just terminating short and clean because there was pressure on it like it does with a hinge this flake still wanted to go it just ran out of steam ran out of juice couldn't push off the rest of that flake so uh, and that's why oftentimes the flake will stick on there and you can pick it off with your fingernails and kind of chip away at it uh, there are ways to correct steps. Steps are a little bit easier to correct than hinges. With steps, sometimes you can get in there with a pressure flaker and you can kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, but the best way to clean up a hinge or a step is just to come back from the other side and just try and undercut it. Try and get under it. I guess that would be this side. Try and undercut that whole step and flatten out the stone. 
Uh, same thing with the hinge. If I wanted to correct this hinge, the best thing, uh, sorry, my camera's at a weird angle, I'm not used to this. The best way for me to correct this hinge would be to come at it from this side. This side right here. And that side would take, would, could flatten that to get rid of that hinge. A little late in the process. I could still do it. I just, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. It still works. Um, yeah, and then you can see there's some some hinges there on the on the edge of that. If my camera focuses here, hold on a second. All right, well it's not going to focus on that, but just trust me, there's hinges there. So um, so I hope that helps a little bit. Explain the difference between hinges and steps. Don't get too caught up in the verbiage. Basically, you've got a short termination and a lot a lot of uh, flint napping is like anything else in life. You just have to figure it out. You know, you can ask a million questions, but it's not like there's a you know an exact formula that's easy to explain. I mean, there, there is a formula, and it's, it is physics, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to explain. It's like throwing a football. You have to do it, and do it over and over and over and over. Uh, but I hope you like this video. If there's any questions, comments, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, ask any questions you want in the comments. I hope you liked it, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, and I'll make more videos. If there's any specific questions that you have, you know, let me know, and I'll address those too if I'm able to. All right, have a great day. Green Bird out.